Hey guys, it's Liz of Consumed by Books, and this is what I got in my mailbox this week. I actually got quite a bit, so I'm going to get right into it. I was gifted two items. Shannon over at Chick Loves Lit sent me a couple of ARCs because she is awesome. She sent me Shatter Me, which is by Tahara Mafi. This is a dystopian novel from Harper Teen that hits shelves in November of 2011, and it's been getting pretty much all rave reviews from bloggers, so I'm excited to give it a try and see how it is. It also just got a cover, which is very gorgeous. And she also sent Past Perfect by Layla Sales, which is about a girl who works in a historical village. I think that's an awesome premise, and this one has an adorable cover. The author's first book, Mostly Good Girls, has gotten pretty good reviews, but everyone keeps saying that this one is even better, so that sounds very promising. And this one comes out in I think October of 2011 from Simon & Schuster. So thank you very much Shannon, you are awesome. And on to the books that I bought. I got a copy of Shatterglass by Tamora Pierce, which is the fourth book in the Circle, Circle Opens series. Misty over at Book Rat and Allison from the Allura Books and I were recently talking on Twitter about how awesome Tamora Pierce is and we're thinking maybe holding an event in um, early 2012. So we'll see. Either way, I'm excited to read more of um, Tamora's work. Next up is It's Not Summer Without You by Jenny Han. I recently finished The Summer I Turned Pretty, which is the first book in this trilogy. This is the second. And I didn't love The Summer I Turned Pretty, but I have heard from pretty much everyone that the series gets much better as you go along, so I will give this one a chance, and hopefully my review of The Summer I Turned Pretty will be up relatively soon. Next up is a copy of Ripple, which is by Mandy Hubbard. This is a mermaid book. I actually didn't notice the scales on this girl's leg until I got the book in person. <laughs> Actually, I saw it in person once and didn't notice, and then when I opened the package, I was like, oh, there they are. Anyways, I've read one of Mandy's other books, But I Love Him, which is actually written under her pseudonym, Amanda Grace, but it was fantastic, so I definitely want to give more of her stuff a try. And I do also have You Wish and Prada and Prejudice on my TBR pile, so we'll see. You guys can let me know which one I should start with. Next up is a copy of Night Spell, which is by Leah Syphus. This is the sequel to Mistwood, which I have not read. And normally I wouldn't buy a sequel to a book I haven't read, but this cover is so gorgeous. It's so pretty. I absolutely love it. And this kind of reminds me of the Disney castle. Yeah. The back is really pretty too. But yes, first of all, Mistwood got a very positive review of Nic from Nicole of Word for Teens, who has really great taste in fantasy, in my opinion. And I also f follow Leah on Twitter, and she's very awesome, so I'm really looking forward to giving these a try. I think that I will like them. Next up is a book that has been getting a lot of positive reviews, and that is I'll Be There by Holly Goldberg Sloan. This is another one that has a really pretty cover. And I've just been hearing tons and tons of great things about it, so I'm going to give it a shot. And next up, I did get a few things from the Amazon bargain bin, because Misty said that they had some really good stuff in there. I got a copy of One Night That Changes Everything, which is by Lauren Barnholt. This came out in summer of 2010, and it got a lot of positive reviews, and I had my eye on it, and there were several times when I almost paid full price, but I always wound up not doing that. So I was very happy to find a copy for a good price, and this is very happy. The book is pink! I like that. So yes, I'm looking forward to giving this one a shot. Next up is a copy of Princess Mia, which is by Meg Cabot. This is the second to last book in the Princess Diaries series, I believe. I've read the first five or six in that series, and I want to complete them not only in terms of reading them, but owning them. So I'm very happy to get a copy of this. And I've had to admit that my editions will not match because as you can see I've got hard covers up there. I got a copy of Lock and Key which is by Sarah Dessen. I read two of Sarah's books as a teenager, Someone Like You and Dreamland. 
and I've been meaning to reread those because I don't remember them too well, but I do remember liking them. And everyone says great things about Sarah Destin, so I figure if I find her work at, a, at really good prices, why not get it? And I got Confessions of a Jane Austen Addict and Rude Awakenings of a Jane Austen Addict, both by Lori Vieira Wrigler, and I really hope that I pronounced that right. I may feature these on my blog during Next Jane in June, which is hosted by Misty over at Book Rat. So we shall see. And then the last of this IMM, I went to a Closing Borders with Sarah from YA Librarian Tales and Aaliyah, a pop culture junkie. And I got quite a bit because I think it's the only time, um, sorry, the only chance that I'll really have to be at a Closing Borders sale. So, I got quite a chunk of stuff. Well, let me show you what I got. Bloody Jack, which is by L.A. Meyer. This is a book about pirates. This is another one that Nicole of Word for Teens has praised very highly. And I think Chelsea over at Coffee and Cliffhangers. So I will have to give it a try. Next up is One Dance with the Duke by Tessa Dare. I actually don't really read much adult romance, but this one has a hilarious, hilarious book trailer, and it gets pretty good reviews, so I figure I'll give it a shot. Next up, I got Liar, which is by Justine Larbalister. Don't know too much about this one, but it is very pretty, and I have heard good things. I got a copy of The Phantom Tollbooth, which is by... Norton Juster. I actually read this one as a kid, but I didn't have my own copy, so I was very happy to find it. I got Sloppy First, which is by Megan McCafferty, and these books have actually been out for 10 years now. This is the first book in the Jessica Darling series. I always eyed these at the library and the bookstore as a teenager, but I never picked them up, so I figured I should finally do that. I got Forever Princess, which is by Meg Cabot. This is the last book in the Princess Diaries series. So again, gonna complete my series. I got a copy of The Shadow of the Wind, which is by Carlos Ruiz Zafon. I originally heard about this one through Goodreads. I don't know a whole lot about it, but it looks really interesting. So I'm definitely excited about it. Next up is The Ratleys, which is by Matt Haig. This is an adult novel, which I actually originally heard about on Andrea Kremer's blog. And the first blurb on the back of this book is a sharp, bloody tale of abstinence and, its, and indulgence and trying not to eat the neighbors. Stephen Hall, author of The Raw Shark Texts. And I think that sounds extremely interesting. So I will give this one a shot for sure. I got a copy of Marcello in the Real World, which is by Francisco X. Stork. Love this cover. It is beautiful. This is either kind of middle grade or YA. I want to say YA, but I'm not 100% positive. At any rate, I've heard it's very quirky and different and good, so I am looking forward to reading it. Got a copy of Vixen by Jillian Larkin. This is a book about flappers, as you can, the flappers. The sequel to this one, Ingenue, it just came out. I haven't gotten a copy yet, but this one was good, and I had been meaning to get a hardcover copy, so I did. I have Five Flavors of Dumb, which is by Anthony John. April of Good Books and Good Wine actually just reviewed this one, and she really enjoyed it, and I tend to trust her taste. Plus, I've heard good things otherwise, so I figured I'd give it a shot. And my last book of the Borders haul is Three Willows. That was my books falling over. Big surprise there. The Sisterhood Grows by Anne Brashares. I'm a little dubious about this one. It's kind of a sisterhood spinoff, I think. These books, Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. But I do want to try it, and now I have a format that matches the rest of my series, so that's good. So that's everything that I got in my mailbox this week. Let me see if I can get the dog in. Macy, do you want to come in? No, you don't. 
Okay, she's tired. She's had a long day. Anyways, that's everything that I got in my mailbox this week. I want to know what you guys got, so be sure to leave me a link in the comments, and I will come check it out. Happy reading, everybody. Bye.